Today we're gonna get into Christmas present creation. I had this idea about making just a bunch of little tiny stuff uh, to put on the Christmas pile, the gift pile, because at my dad's we are gonna play one of those um, gift stealing games and I wanna put a bunch of stuff on the gift pile. I don't want to put too much effort into them, but I do want to add fun stuff to the pile. So in this video, I'm gonna try to make as many stuff from my Pinterest board as I can. At the bare minimum, I wanna make four keychains, two bookmarks and this beanie. And I do wanna challenge myself to do everything with the yarn I have in my house. I don't have like a massive yarn stash, so we'll have to see if I have enough yarn of the right kind for the things I wanna make. I think, I think I do. All the patterns I'm using in this video can be found in the description box as well as the Pinterest board. Let me just do this beanie first. I've never made a beanie before, by the way, and they are getting my hair with it as well. I am hopeful that it turns out well because I, I didn't know how long I should make it. I just started, but I figured if I can do this, it sort of works. We'll see. If it's needed, I will look up what I did wrong. But yeah, right now I'm winging it. <laughs> I have decided that I am gonna weave in these ends right now. I also looked up the size uh, because this is about 13 inches, 33 centimeters, and it has to be 20 inches wide. 20 inches is about 51, about 14 more rows to go. This is taking longer than I anticipated, so I think the rest of the projects will be done tomorrow and the day after that. Because my hand is hurting a bit because I have been crocheting a lot yesterday. Hold up, let me show you. Okay, so I made some progress on this sweater. I did this part um, yesterday and the day before. I worked a lot on it and my hand is not happy at all. I noticed it when I was crocheting just now. I need to take it a bit easy. I need to learn to take breaks. I find it so hard to just stop. Once I have in my mind that I want to do a specific amount of work in a day, I have to just keep going, going, going. I might need to start setting alarms like every 20 minutes or 30 minutes that I have to take a break and just stretch my hands a little bit because my hands are needed for the coming, I don't know how many years because I wanna crochet so much more in my life. We're gonna have to take care of those hands. I'm gonna order those finger compression thingies that might help, we'll see. For now, I'm just gonna weave in the ends and then we'll continue. What is it you guys agreed to? Well, that's just it, nothing really. I mean, it was early in the morning and we hadn't had a chance to decide on anything. I just left these one here to show that this is the inside. Oh yeah, we got the 51 like on the dot. Nice. So now I'm just gonna weave in the ends and then I can attach the thing like this. And then it will turn into a tube and then I have to somehow bundle it together. Okay, we're gonna put this stuff together. The only bummer here is that the whole way around I had alternating colors and I ended up with two of the same. That's fine. The person who will wear it will know what the back is, I guess. I am almost done. Just the final step is to add a running stitch along at this edge and pull it together and tie it off and then the hoodie is done. I've never done a running stitch before. So let's see. I'm kind of winging it. But I guess that's okay. It works. I feel like I am taking up way too much time in this vlog filming this and sharing too much of this. So I think the, the next projects I will make them more snappy. 
I'm trying to find a balance between showing um, mostly the essentials because sometimes I feel like it's boring when you show too much of one project. So I'm trying to find a balance there. We'll see how that goes. This vlog will be a little bit of an experimentation when it comes to that. Bear with me while I'm trying to figure out what's interesting and what isn't. And if you notice that anything is really like catching your attention or if you feel like something is actually a bit overdone or too boring, just let me know and I will reflect upon it. Ooh, it is tight. I don't know how to fasten it off like in a way that's like really solid. I feel like it's gonna snap any minute. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, let's see. Right now it's really like a big hole. Next time I'm going in, in, in a round. Should I make a pom-pom? I no, no. Okay, no, I have enough to do. <laughs> if I have time left, I will make a pom-pom. So many ideas all the time. Oh my goodness. Is this good enough? I think it is. It feels fairly secure, even though there's a hole <laughs> at the top of it. Before we continue, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done yet. Oh, it's too big. Or maybe not. At least it fits. <laughs> But it is way too fucking big. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna double it. Oh Jesus. Lordy lord. Even now it's still too big. Okay, no, this is okay. Oh, it's cute. It's quite nice. <laughs> it's my first hat. I've never made a beanie before. I am gonna make a pom-pom, obviously because the hole is just too big. Even though it doesn't matter that much, who will notice? Well, I will. Other people will too. Yeah, pom pom will be added. Just not tonight. Maybe I will secure this in place, even though people do like to do weird shit with it as well. I have to say, I want to make one for myself now. How funny would it be if I just put this on the Christmas pile and then I will steal my own gift. <laughs> like I want it. I want it on my head this winter. <laughs> I'm gonna be done for today. By the way, I got such an amazing pattern. I'm gonna make a lucky dragon hood and cowl. I've never heard that word before, but it is by The Head and I, and I bought it on Etsy. And it's such an, you can see it right here. It's so beautiful. And my nephew, he turns one in March. So it might be too big. They have sizes for a toddler, a child, an adult. So it might be too big, even like the toddler size, but he can wear it next year if it doesn't fit right now. It's just beautiful and I can't wait to make it. I am getting the yarn tomorrow. I'm gonna make other colors than this one. So I wanna make the main color, the blue color, and the accent color would be the red color. You'll see it in another video because I'm not gonna make it this video. This video is about the small stuff. Little update, I added a pom-pom and it's finished. I think it's a little bit too big, but I'm hoping that one of the guys will want it and that they have a bigger head than me. I am in love with it. The next day. First off, I started making another beanie yesterday evening. I'm really into rats and I think I'm actually gonna make this one for myself. So I got distracted after I made this one because I loved it so much. I wanted to make another one immediately. Let me know if you are like that as well. It's just like that hyper focus. Like, oh yeah, I got the good hormones and it made me so happy. Now I need to make more of it. I love that about crochet, but okay. The the reason I am filming right now is actually because I got more yarn. I believe in my last video I mentioned like, oh, I'm no rich bitch, but I am apparently I'm rich enough to buy more yarn. But the reason I bought more yarn is for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that I want to make a hat for my nephew. It's going to be, a, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but Naruto. Um, he is really into anime type stuff. And I noticed that he talks about Naruto quite a lot. So I want to make a hat for him. And the second thing is the dragon uh, hood that I mentioned. And I also got yarn for a temperature blanket. I already bought yarn, but let me show you. 
I got a bunch of these skeins, but I didn't realize how thin the yarn would be. And I do want uh, a blanket that isn't like too thick, but this is too thin to my liking. The yarn I got is the cotton 6.8. I think it's still maybe too small, but I figured that the 8.8 would be too thick. So let's just check it out. So first up, I got the Naruto hat yarn. So that's the yellow and then gray. There's supposed to be blue. Yeah, blue. And then for the thing I want to make for my other nephew, I bought this yarn. It is the Unami Tweed. And then I have a whole bunch of other yarn. Um, it's the yarn for the temperature blanket. It's pretty much the same weight, but I do believe that it's a bit denser. I'm gonna have to work on one of the diamonds I wanna create for the temperature blanket, and then I'll see if I'm okay with this one. Let me show you all the colors, by the way, because I do really like them. I love the colors together, like it's amazing. The only problem is, is that I misjudged the weight of the yarn. I guess that's a big downside of buying yarn online. I am gonna make it work because look at these colors. They are gorgeous. I was hoping they would fit together like this and they actually do. I am really pleased with how it turned out. I got two skeins of each because I thought that would be enough to get me started and then um, whenever I need more, I can buy more, especially because it's like such a varied color palette. I thought if it's not the same color a lot, that would be okay. I'm gonna work up a diamond with one of the colors because I had this design here uh, for my temperature blanket. Yeah, let me work up a, a diamond to see if I'm okay with the yarn weight. This Bordeaux is beautiful. So the yarn is okay. I was so scared that I made the wrong decision when I saw uh, how thin the yarn was again. But this works up thicker than I thought it was gonna be. I'm so relieved because I thought this was a miss buy again, but it's not. So I am very pleased with it. When I designed the blanket, I started to feel so much excitement and I wanted to make it like immediately. I don't want to wait an entire year to finish it. It's gonna be such a beautiful project in the end. It's gonna feel so fulfilling in the end. Um, sometimes you just know when you start something, you can just see the end result in mind, right? Well, you have a design obviously, but sometimes you just have like a very clear picture of the way it's gonna turn out and the way it's gonna feel when you have it in your hands. And this is one of those projects that make me feel so excited and it's gonna feel like one of the biggest achievements when it comes to crochet probably for me. So I can't wait to finish this one. I just have to adjust the pattern because I don't like the holes there. I thought I should try it like the easy way. Never do the easy way, always do the good way, like the pretty way, because now you don't have a freaking hole. I'm gonna frog this and then I'm gonna find a place for it because I don't have enough storage for my yarn because I don't have a big stash of yarn. I don't have a dedicated space for extra yarn. So I'm gonna have to find a way to store this. I'm happy I got the right one. I love the colors. Um, yay, new blanket on its way. I found a bin. It's even too big, so that's good. Okay, now I have to figure out where I can put this. <laughs> nope. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this, but... <laughs> I'll create space somewhere. How do people do it with like massive yarn stashes though? Where do you, where do you leave your shit? This is the swatch I made with the yarn I picked before that I thought was really too small. And you can see the difference. It's the same pattern, the same amount of stitches. This was a good decision. Oh, and it's probably really not gonna be a temperature blanket. I think I've decided that I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna make as many of these as possible with the yarn I have and then just figure it out along the way. Little update on the knitting. I am actually starting to make socks and it's starting to look sort of okay. I'm kind of surprised. Like it's not perfect, but 
Like, it looks pretty good. The next day. I'm finally gonna start the smaller projects right now. Let me show you my yarn stash and then um, I will figure out what colors to use for which projects. I have this right here. This is pretty much all the yarn I got from the Hobie yarn haul video a couple of videos back. And then this is the yarn I got for the project for my nephews. And then we have the temperature blanket. I have this one with my whips. The reason why I don't have a lot of yarn because pretty much every bit of yarn I have, I have a project in mind. I know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna buy yarn when I know what I'm gonna do with it. The Hobie yarn, the mystery bag, that's pretty much the only time I got yarn without like a project in mind. So yeah. All my yarn, it has a purpose or it had a purpose. And now I'm going to find a purpose for the things I have left. All right, and here is some of my other yarn stuff. Again, here I have yarn for a curtain I'm making. Whoops, drop this. Sorry for the darkness. Let me get a light. It should be better. This is for the cal I'm working on. And this is the thing that we're looking for the bin with my leftover yarn stuff um this is for the sweater this is for socks and then here we have a couple of skeins i can use i bought this yarn for another uh, cardigan but we can use it and this one oh this is the only yarn i bought without a project in mind we can use that as well i don't think i have any no, no yarn here. We'll grab this one as well because we're gonna use some stuff in it. That's all the yarn I have. Let's just make some space on the table and I will drop all the yarn on there so we can take a look at it. If you hear the laundry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep this really short. This is a bit messy. I sit here every morning and I write and I do tarot and yeah, this is like my morning little hub. But yeah, I am going to figure out what I'm gonna do for what project right now. Um, and then we'll get started. I got 10 keychains, so that should be enough. This is the result. I don't like it. I don't like that this is, this seems to be much wider than this part. I think the cap is fine, sort of. No, I don't like it. So I'm gonna use this as like an experiment, a trial and error stage. It's like, yeah, uh, no, this is not it. I'm gonna change it. I don't wanna give away presents that I don't like. I'm gonna start over. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make it and not film it. I will show you when it's done because I just wanna focus on making it and then, yeah, you will see. I finished this one. It looks like a phallic object. <laughs> and then I made one without the cap. I thought it looked better like this. My mood is low today. My energy is low. I. I don't know, maybe I did a little bit too much this week, but I just took a nap. I'm gonna eat some lunch and then we're gonna continue. Well, I'm gonna continue while I'm waiting for my sandwich to be done. moments later I don't like how this is turning out so I'm starting over I think that's the thing with like all patterns a first go around is getting used to the pattern and then you have to start again to do it well more moments later this uh, I'm gonna steam block this I like how it turned out that's a good pattern I got one two and three let's see what's next let's move on to this but before I do I need to show you something I made another beanie I did add like a button on it it says that it's handmade with love 
I was on a roll yesterday. After I did the other beanie, I really felt so excited to make another one. So here it is. Yep, that's the red I'm gonna use for my sweater, by the way. It's bold, I like it. All right, so this may not be cool, but I just figured out that this pattern, it is a paid pattern and I'm not gonna pay for a bookmark. So I'm gonna reverse engineer it as much as I can. Oh, look, here is a free version. God, I made a mistake right at the start. I put two in one. I will show you when it's done, okay? This is the bookmark and it turned out way bigger than I anticipated. Just means the book will get even prettier. Bookmark, number one, done. Right now, I have things done. Next year I want to make like a collection with the same colors because I don't like that these colors are so different. I love this kind of stuff. I love how reading the pattern feels like a little bit of a puzzle. I want to freestyle some mandala stuff uh, at some point. I want to make some more to get the hang of like the mandala on its own but yeah I would love to just grab a hook and yarn and just go at it without actually reading a pattern or thinking about it and just doing what feels right in the moment. You can use this as a coaster as well. Like I mentioned, the patterns are in the description box. You can find it there. On to the next one. I'm gonna move to the couch in a minute because I actually don't like crocheting at a table. This stonewash yarn. I like uh, Scheepjes yarn. The Scheepjes factory, it is about 20 kilometers from here. Now I have this need to go over there and get like one of those tours of the factory. I hope I get the chance someday to actually go to the factory and see what it's all about there. How fun would that be? I have to watch the rest of the tutorial now. I will show it to you when it's done. A few moments later. And bookmark number two is done. It's a cutie, just a tiny cutie. Completely different, the size. We got five now. <laughs> I might take a break. Or I might continue. Oftentimes when I say I'm gonna take a break or I'm gonna stop, I still feel like I wanna continue. So we'll see. I'm not sure, is it Italian? Is it Spanish? Is it Portuguese? I'm not sure. Oh wait, it's Spanish. Gosh, that's a fun language. I wanna learn it. Okay, then I'm gonna kind of take I just finished the final one for today. It is a clover. I really like this one. It's a good one. So I am done for today, for real, for real this time. I might even be done completely, but I'll decide tomorrow. And that brings us to the end of the video. I made this for Christmas. A couple of small things, two bigger things. And I'm gonna make a couple of pieces for my nephew and my other nephew as well. You will see more of that in another video. For now, this is it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.